What would you like to be remembered for when you die? My name is Hannah. I run a business which is in a professional service area. And it's been um, more than three years now. The one side is the exciting side, which is helping people make their vacation tax deductible. The other side, there's some not so um, exciting side. So uh, sometimes I do have to um, help people plan their inheritance tax. So to start with, normally we pull together all the assets, like your houses, your bank accounts, pension, anything you have. But as I was doing that, I was thinking, is one person's legacy only limited to these numbers? I actually, when it comes to inheritance of death, my first experience of death was when I was six years old. So that was the one morning. I still remember my mom came and she told me, your grandfather is gone. So at that, at that age, I didn't really know what does that mean. So he's gone, where is he going? And when he's coming back? But my mom said, he's going really far away and never gonna come back. So a few days after I was in his funeral. So I only know this person for six years in my life, but I felt after 20 years of his death, I kind of know this person more and more from how people talk about him and even wrote a book about him. I remember um, one chapter of the story that was about him um, in doing the Chinese Cultural Revolution. Because the Chinese government was uh, keen to destroy all the traditional culture. So because they think if China is going to be the new country, new modern country, all this tradition, all tradition has to be ditched. So they are doing lots of, uh, um, lots of movement about ditching all the traditional culture. But my grandfather, he was working very closely with the ethnic group in Southwest China. And he felt Chinese traditional culture is actually so valuable and it's worth being protected that's their religion, their custom, and it's a different language. So it's so valuable. And he has done lots of hard work, not publicly, uh, because if you try anything, trying to protect the culture at the time, it's actually risking your job title, even your life. So he has done a lot of hard work and translate those culture uh, documents into English. So at least the idea of it will be still available in the next decade. And now that piece of culture has become the Chinese cultural heritage. So as I was reading it, although I only know this person for this short period of time, but I kind of feel the legacy he has created was priceless. And he has been so, it's so much inspiring, inspired me so much and he has been a role model for me. So if I take back to my business, sometimes being in professional service can be dry and boring. But I know there's a, there's a place in my heart that is learned from my grandfather, that is always served with heart and focus on the impact I'm going to make in this world. So um, at the moment, the idea of me running business has slightly changed because uh, now I know the high purpose of me helping my client is giving them a better lifestyle. That's why I started with lifestyle, the vacation you want, and work backwards. Make sure you pay, still have the right, pay right amount of tax. And that's why I came out with the idea of making your vacation tax deductible. And if you'd like to know more about it, uh, be free to speak to me afterwards. But finally, um, overall, one important lesson I've learned was if we only focus on what we do for a living, we'll only make a living. But if we do focus on the bigger picture, something bigger than ourselves, and um, we'll make a fortune. <laughs> Thank you.